Now we continue to track the latest in the Boston Marathon bombings. A local victim is ready to go home nearly a month after the deadly blast. Newport's Heather Abbott was one of dozens injured in the April 15th explosions. Now she made a difficult decision to have doctors amputate part of her leg. And tomorrow she'll hold a news conference from the Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital and return home to Rhode Island this weekend. Meanwhile, the body of one of the bombing suspects has been buried. Tamalin Sernayev was entombed in an unknown gravesite today, ending a week-long search for a place willing to take his body. We've learned an anonymous person helped arrange the secret burial. Iowa News reporter Jennifer Mobilia is live in the newsroom now with the latest. Where is Tamerlan Sernayev's body buried? That is the big question tonight. It was being held at a Worcester funeral home, but tonight his remains could be anywhere. The body of Tamerlan Sernayev, the suspected Boston bombing mastermind, has been moved from this Worcester funeral home. His remains now buried in an undisclosed location, which was provided by an anonymous person. A courageous and compassionate individual came forward to provide the assistance needed to properly bury the deceased. Thursday, reporters asked Governor Lincoln Chafee if Sir Nayev's body was buried in Rhode Island. I don't know. It's not. I certainly have not heard anything. Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick appeared on WGBH Boston Public Radio to answer similar questions. The body has been... Um, removed from the funeral home and has been buried at the direction of the family. I don't know where. You're in what um, state? I don't know. With Cernayev laid to rest, a congressional committee launched hearings about the attack. When information is out there that affects the safety of my community, I need to know that. Boston Police Commissioner Ed Davis told the House Homeland Security Committee he wants increased video monitoring of public places. He also testified there were officers in his department working with the U.S. Terrorism Task Force, but that the information on Cernayev was not exchanged. You have to look at the timeline as to who knew what when to make a determination as to whether or not mistakes were made. And I, and I, I don't have the answers to that right now. The FBI says there is a computer program set up so that the Boston police can see all counterterrorism efforts. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Jennifer Mobilia, Eyewitness News.